Hello, welcome to this discussion on how to use the power method in numerical analysis tool or numerical methods to find the largest adding value of modulus, okay, of a matrix. So, if you have not subscribed to the channel, kindly subscribe, okay, like the video and also share as well thank you all right let's start so we say power method what do you mean by power method we said that power method is being used to determine the adding value of largest modulus of matrix a so this is very very important this part largest modulus so it's not like the actual largest adding value uh, what i mean is that if i have adding value of negative six an adding value of three this power method will give us the negative six because we are saying that it is used to find the adding value of largest modulus when i find the modulus of these two numbers i'll get six and three where six is greater than that so after our method we'll be able to get the adding value to be negative six okay all right so with this how do you go about it in the first place i'll i'll go and show you how to simplify or use this method to find it but i want us to look at some points here some key things here now you should know that the largest in modulus or in magnitude adding value must be distinct okay so to use this method what this means is that we are supposed to get distinct adding values okay so that we can see the largest among them if you have repeated adding values this wouldn't work okay and also the largest in modulus or in magnitude um let me this this statement is for the first one but the second one is also saying that the matrix a has linear independent adding vectors we are we know that if a matrix has different or distinct adding values then it will have linearly and independent linearly um sorry and linearly independent adding vector because every one of the adding values will produce an adding vector okay so that is what this um, whole method is about so it is limited to only a matrices that has distinct adding values okay all right so how do you compute that the first step is one let x naught okay we are reading together be any non-zero initial vector mostly the initial vector is giving us one 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 transpose or you can say the column vector one 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 okay the column vector one one meaning we have only one column and three rows or you can say the row vector one 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 transpose okay then you multiply this x not given with a matrix a to obtain a vector y not which is equal to a times a so this step is what we need so you find y not which is equal to a times x not now we take the absolute largest element lambda one from the vector y not okay so you take if i if let's say my y not was let's say two one three now I take the largest value here out, so I'll factor three out, and I'll get two over three here, one over three there, and I'll get one. Okay, that's what they want to say. Now you look, you look through the values, you factor the largest one out, out of the vectors, and call it lambda one. So let the remaining vector that you'll be left with after factoring the largest vector, sorry, the largest value will be able to be left with like i did here if i factored three hours i'll be left with two over three one over three and one and these the the ones in the boss here will now be our x1 okay all right so this is what this means and so with that we said that you repeat this step that i've said okay you repeat it you repeat step two and three till the la la last iteration has the desired accuracy okay so if if we are being asked to find this or do this for let's say two iterations and it means after two iterations you have to stop and then whatever lambda you have there will be the largest 
adding value of modulus and the corresponding vector will be the adding vector i hope you get it all right so let's go ahead and take an example this example and solve this okay so with we are supposed to find the largest adding value of modulus from this with this initial value initial vector with three iterations okay so three iterations you are supposed to do only three iterations okay all right so here you are seeing that just multiply a this a and x naught you know that x naught is transpose so we'll get something like zero two four for a one one negative two negative two zero five okay you multiply it to one 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 that's the meaning of the transpose and now i've done a video on how to use the matrix to do this so i'm using sorry how to use the calculator to solve this okay so i'm using my calculator to solve this when i multiply it i will get um a times b i'm getting the column vector six zero three okay this is what i'm getting so this is the first why not and we are seeing that after that factor something out okay the largest value in the column or in the vector so i factor the largest value is six so here i'll be left with one zero then what i have to do is i have to divide this three by six if i divide three by six it will be three over six and that is one over two okay or 0.5 anyhow you want to write it so here it means that our x1 will be equal to one zero one over two okay that is what every, the method said we said that factor this lambda one out after that whatever remaining vector is what x1 okay i hope you, you understand the process now so now you have to go and find our y1 that's the first iteration we've done okay so the first iteration let's go and check our lambda one here here lambda one sorry lambda one here is equal to six okay with this adding vector so as you move on it will be converging to one value okay so that is our first iteration our second iteration is i suppose to find y1 which is equal to a x1 okay and this will be equal to what so i have to pick my calculator again and insert my x1 in s1 we had one zero and one over two okay so i put it in and i kind of multiply a to x1 which is matrix b i name it matrix b okay so with this one two we have two zero then i think 0 0.5 again okay or one over two let me put it that way okay sorry we have two zero then point five let me write it this now with the whole of this two is the largest okay so it means that i have to go back and look through the same thing it means my y1 here is equal to two out and one zero i have to divide 0 0.5 by two and i'll get one over four okay which is 0 0.25 so let me write it one over four I don't want to have any errors here. That's why I'm maintaining my fractions. Okay. So this is it. Now here with here, lambda 2 is equal to what? 2. And my x2 will be equal to what? 1, 0, then 1 over 4. Okay, that's the second iteration. Let's go to the last iteration that we've been asked to find. So the last iteration is y2 being equal to a times our x2 okay it's not s squared let me let me do this so that you see that is s2 and this will be what so we just go and change our x um, values in the matrix on our calculator and multiply a by it a is always there for for um, references okay like i said if if you don't know how to do this i've left the video link in the description 
how to use the calculator to solve uh, matrix multiplication okay so um yes you have to go and change it okay all right i have the um, matrix b i want to name my s2 to be matrix b and that is one zero zero point two five or one over four okay so i have to multiply them times zero point uh, the matrix b okay so i have matrix a times matrix b and that is giving me let me go ahead where is it okay so we have one zero point five okay zero point seven five negative of it okay so it means that if i want to factor something out this is a third iteration okay so if i want to find some factor something out this is equal to one is the biggest value here in modulus okay so you should consider that one as well then 0 0.5 the negative 0 0.75 itself okay so here means our lambda 3 is equal to 1 and our x3 okay our x3 here let me let me do it well for you our x3 here x3 is equal to 1 0 0.5 negative 0 0.75 okay negative 0 0.75 so with the third iteration you could see that we are getting our lambda 3 to be this and our x3 to be this as well okay so if we had continuum we don't know the actual exact largest argent, um, argent vector of modulus but since we are having this in a third iteration the question says we should do it to the third iteration so after the third iteration whatever argent value you have okay will become so therefore lambda equals one will become the largest argent value of largest sorry argent value of largest modulus of this matrix a okay i know if you use a program programming software okay like matlab and do the iteration for like 15 going it wouldn't be the same as this okay so it depends on your number of iteration that you can use to conclude so after three iterations we say that the largest value of or the urgent value of largest modulus is one of the matrix a okay so lambda is equal to one for this and then the x is equal to one zero point five negative zero point seven five so its corresponding adding vector is s is equal to one point five then negative seven point zero point seven five okay then transpose like that i hope you understood the process this is very very easy to do okay so thank you and don't forget to subscribe to my channel like i said if you don't understand the way we did the matrix multiplication on a calculator i have the video on a description video the de description below so just click on the description or i even leave it on the comment section so that you'll be able to also know how to do it